Hi there, welcome to my YouTube tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to plot coordinates on a four quadrant graph. You will also learn how to reflect a figure and translate it. Okay, first you're going to want to start off by graphing the coordinates. And to graph your coordinates, you look at the numbers. And our first number is 2, 2. And what you're going to want to do is the first number is going to be the one going to the side. So it's 2, and then you're 1, 2. The second number says 2 as well, and we're going to go up to 1, 2. We're going to get our mark. We're going to mark it. I'm going to have that as A. And then we're going to go for our second coordinate, which is 2, 4. We're going to do the same thing, count it 1, 2, and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we're going to go here, and we're going to put it right there. And that's going to be our B. And then add it to our last figure. We're going to go over, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like it says, on the upside. 1, 2, 3. And that's where we're going to have our number, and we're going to mark it, and that's going to be C. Now that you have it, you're going to want to draw it in so, you, so it looks like a figure. Oops, wrong thing. I'm sorry. Let me get my markers. We're going to draw that in. And there you go. And that's done with the first part of graphing. Okay, now we're on to reflecting. Oh, let me draw this in. I'm sorry. Oh, erase this. Take a step back. Oh, hold on. Okay. That's nice. Erase that. Bring that right here. And we're going to get our marker, and we're going to fill this in. Okay, now we're on to reflecting. So for reflecting, if it's along the y-axis, which is the downward line, and this is going to the side, what you're going to do is you look at the y-axis here, and you see that the a is right here. So on the y-axis, it's two spaces to the right. So what you're going to do is two spaces to the left. You're going to go one, two, and then you're going to mark that. That's going to be a one, because you want to know which one is, and so you don't get your shapes confused. And you're going to do some, the same thing to be. It's one, two, two sides. So you're going to go one, two to this side. And you're going to mark that one in as well. It's going to be B1. And now that we have B1, we're trying to do C. C is approximately one, two, three, four, five spaces from the Y to the right, or maybe B to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Keep our finger right here. And mark that one in. Oh, that was a bad one. Get my erasure. Fix that one up. Get my marker. Fix that one in a bit. You see, put up the one. And put on a sheet. And there you go. The one is reflecting. That's the second part of this problem. Now on to translating. So it is asking us to move it 5 units down and 8 to the right, so we're going to start doing it. I'm going to start from A, I'm going to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down, and then 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to keep our finger right there. Very nice. I'm going to draw that in. We're going to do A, 2, so we don't get all confused. We're going to do the same thing for the rest of them. We're going to go from B. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down like it's there, and 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to keep it up there, I'm going to draw that in. It's going to be B2. Sorry if I mixed it up a little. We're going to do the same thing to C. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down, and then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Keep that right there. We're going to draw that one in right there. And we're going to have C2. Draw it in. You have now learned how to graph coordinates, reflect, and translate. The video is about to be over. Thank you for watching. Um, and this is a good picture. It's logic and reasoning. And I chose this because I believe it connects to transformations, which you just learned. Uh, in transformations, you as well have to use your logic and reasoning to reflect your figure like we did before. Yeah, thank you for watching.